morning everyone i hope that you're all well it's currently thursday the si no tuesday <laughs> I'll, I'll get into it the 16th of march i was just chatting to my friends we were trying to arrange when to um video call each other and thursday was mentioned so now i think it's thursday um it's really gross and rainy here today so mm, i wanted to get up and go for a walk but then i woke up and looked out the window like no that's not that's not happening um so i've come down i've cleaned the sink um i've done so, a bit of washing up that had to be left to soak and yeah it's a yarn dyeing day and that's what we're going to be doing today i have some more earrings by tiny sunshine shopping today i've got my little sunflowers on I've got my comfy hand knits on and uh yeah it's a yarn dyeing day so this is going to be dyeing for the shop update um, I have a sweater quantity that somebody has custom ordered that I need to dye up um, of a colourway I've done before as part of the Knit Girl Yarn Club um, last year. And then, yeah, see where the mood takes me. I was hoping for sunshine because I always feel inspired to dye nice colours with sunshine, but we shall see. I'll keep listening to, uh, or I will be listening to Critical Role probably as I dye. Um, but yeah, I need to go get the bin in because... I should probably go do that. And I have called Royal Mail to come and collect your orders. Ta-da! Four mail sacks today, quite impressive. Um, and yeah, I've, I've said that, you know, they can come before three. That would be great. Uh, not that it makes a difference because I can't leave the house anyway, but yes. Yeah. Let's go dye some yarn. I was just filming myself putting ties on yarn and I heard a noise and the cat and a cat jumped on the roof of the lean-to and we were just walking along. Ah, oh, I came out here, I grabbed my camera and came out here but the cat is gone, the cat's already gone. So there was almost an alternative cat watch. Cat watch. The cat's back, there it is. Amazing. oven it's pretty cool it's a range cooker which is cool yeah uh, so I die in this bit down here and I got really excited because I thought this is a grill this is the grill this is just like a little oven and then I got really excited because we've also got this big oven that's got a dirty pizza stone in and um, I thought I would be able to double my dye load by dying in this one no I can't my trays don't fit my trays just barely fit in the um, little oven. So I got really excited that I might be able to double my workload. But no, my trays are too long. <laughs> oh no, I mean I could buy new trays, but I'm not planning on dying here forever. I'm planning on moving to the dye shed at some point, but um, yeah. That's one of my slight annoyances, but that's fine.
sun seems to have come out. We're really in the heights of the sunshine and showers, part of spring weather. So that's fun. Um, yeah, I'm having fun dyeing yarn today. It's good. I'm just dyeing colorways I've dyed before that some people requested, some that nobody requested that I fancy dyeing. And uh, yeah, I feel like I need to make some new ones or like look through some books and think up some new ideas. Um, but you know, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. It's uh, yeah. But it's better than dyeing no yarn at all, basically. So here we have, and what you saw me dye is hamster unicorns. This was a Nishikoro Yarn Club colorway last year, and um, I really liked it. It's like a cute soft pink, and then it's got speckles of um, fluorescent pink. It's got some yellow, and then it's got some blue, uh, like a turquoisey color, and it's really nice. But I've just got it on sturdy sock and merino for the time being. Um, I might add more bases, but yeah, I don't, it's really tough. I don't want to dye up a ton of yarn that nobody buys because that's a waste of stock and also it takes up space. So I'm only dyeing like a few skeins on each base and then if people want a sweater's quantity, you can email me and say, hi, I'd like a sweater's quantity. Um, because that way I don't have, like, stock of sweaters quantities upstairs, which, I mean, I'm sure some people have, but I don't, um, I don't want to tie up my stock in yarn that's not selling. I don't know. So, yeah. It's difficult to tell because it's in a tray, but for example, this was a custom sweater qu sweaters quantity of Long May He Rain which is a, uh, the Nishikoro Yarn Club colorway for uh, January last year. And it's got like a purple base and it's got all these fun speckles all over it. But they sent me an email and then I sent them an invoice and now I'm dying it up, you know? I don't know if that makes sense. But someone requested the Aura of Vitality colorway and said, I know it's an old colorway, but in my head it's not that old a colorway. And this is Aura of Vitality. I have a skein upstairs. I've never written the recipe down for this. So I have to keep a skein around or look at the pictures and try and work out what colors I used. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I know. Let's see if I can get it to focus. But it's such a fun summery one. Um, yeah, I'm excited to dye up some more of this. I think it's pretty. I've got it in the pots now. Oh, and that's a good point. I need to put some more yarn on to soak. So I need to dispatch all the orders at some point and send everyone their tracking numbers, seeing as I upgraded a ton of people for free tracked postage. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to keep dying yarn for a little bit. I might stop at about two-ish. Stop a bit earlier than usual. Make sure it's all clean, tidy down. And, uh, yeah. And then I can dispatch the orders and, um, there was something else that I was going to say. Do some bead weaving or something. Always covered, always covered in dye. Fun. <laughs> I almost missed the postman because the spin dryer was going, I had the water running, I have critical role playing, I almost missed him. But didn't, so that's all that matters. Oh, and maybe I can get out for a walk if it's still nice this afternoon. That's also why I want to finish early, if it's sunny now, you know?
in the kitchen because it's all over our appliances it's all over the side I forgot to put the lid on this time it is now on and yeah it just goes absolutely everywhere yeah so it's now 10 past two um I've just put some more yarn on to dye um and then these will probably be my last few batches but I watched this the sweetest video from, um, I am now in focus, uh, from Victoria of Minxie Studio UK, Minxie Studio UK on YouTube. And she uh, did Mail Time Monday opening up a Let's Go Make a Cup of Tea enamel pin. And, you know, she told the, told the story about how she found my YouTube channel. And, oh, it's so sweet. So thank you, Victoria, even though you don't even like tea. Don't feel pressured to drink the tea included in your order. Feel free to gift it to someone. Pass on the love. It's got a long expiration date. You're okay. Save it in the cupboard for when we allow people over again. And somebody was just like, oh, have you got any tea? I do, actually. <laughs> but thank you so much for such a sweet video. It was so lovely to um, watch. So, yeah, thanks. I need to comment on that. But, yeah, I'm dyeing up some Spectre. Spectre. Um, a mohair. Ooh! I'm also uh, dyeing up Yes I'm Very Sweet, which was um, a Knit Crawl Yarn Club last year for September. And I'm thinking of renaming it to like Kiri the Kenku or something to make it a bit more, um, still critical role, but make it more specifically D&D, &D, but I might change my mind on that. Um, but yeah, I don't know whether to sell these skeins or knit myself a nice jumper. We'll see, we shall see. Because I could knit myself a nice jumper and then dye up some more, in all fairness. But, yeah. This is probably the last lot I'm going to do today. Um, there's a big black cloud out that way. But this way is blue sky. So I'll just keep looking this way and telling myself that I'll be able to go for a walk. But I don't think it'll be possible. And then when I'm done dyeing here and I've wiped down the side and I've cleaned everything, then uh, it will be tea time because I haven't had a tea yet today. I do have a Diet Coke on the go though, so I am having some caffeine. But... Being a tea drinker, yes I drink a lot of tea, but I find that I'm not as reliant on caffeine as some of my coffee drinking friends. Like I can give or take it, so yeah. I don't know. But, rather productive dye day, if you ask me. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm pooped. I just uh, cleaned up. Always takes a long time. Gotta make sure you get all the dye. It's all over my hands. And, um, yeah. Not the most productive dye day I've ever had, but not bad. I dyed some yarn for a shop update, which is more than I've done in a while. Um, and it wasn't terrible, so, yeah. Feeling quite chuffed with myself. Even though this is my job. So, shouldn't be feeling chuffed with myself. Because, 
I'm just doing my job. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know if I can be bothered to go out for a walk. I know I'll feel so much better for it, but I'm just... I'm tired now. Do I want a tea? I might make a tea. Just a Yorkshire tea biscuit brew, I think. Keep it easy breezy. Yeah. Let's go make a cup of tea. Okay, it's been 10 minutes and I haven't moved. <laughs> I'm tired. I need to hire someone to um, make tea for me, I think. I'm not going to do that. But it would be nice. Okay. Now let's go make a cup of tea. Now let's... Oh, I've stood up. I've stood up. I've stood up. Let's do it. Let's make a cup of tea. everyone's orders to them and uh, enjoy my tea charge my camera battery a bit and uh, yeah you need to charge my phone as well charge all the things fa la la everyone's orders been dispatched to them I've gone really tired my tea is going down a treat whoop delightful and uh, yeah I feel like I've had quite a productive day Um, but yeah, I don't know, uh, what I was about to say. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, so Thursday, so I try and die yarn around when Mary is working. So, uh, because I take over the kitchen, it takes all day, it's annoying if it gets in my way, and... I'm annoying when I take over the whole kitchen because it means he can't like do anything. So he's off tomorrow, which is fine. I will probably make some stitch markers. He's working only the morning on Thursday, fine. I will probably make some stitch markers um, and also gives the yarn extra time to dry. So on Friday, he's working all day. It's quite a long day. So I will probably dye up some more yarn then. And then I think he's working Saturday morning off Sunday, Monday. But I could try and dye yarn on Monday as well. It depends how much I do on Friday. And uh, yeah, because then it's the shop update. So yeah. If you like the look of any of the colours that um, I've dyed and you want ever want a sweater's quantity of anything, please email me, um, thecornerofcraft at gmail.com. And yeah, I'll send you an invoice for it and I'll dye it up for you. Um, you get 10% off if it's four or more skeins and of the same colorway. Um, and yeah, if that's something that you want, uh, if you want a sweater's quantity of anything, please feel free to drop me an email. Because like I say, it makes no sense for me to dye up multiple sweaters quantities of things also because people need different amounts for sweaters quantities and um yeah so i yeah don't currently have the space maybe when i've moved to the dye shed i'll have the space but i don't currently have the space to um have multiple sweaters quantities in stock just in case someone wants to buy them um yeah but if you'd like to place an order, send me a message, send me an uh, email, and um, I'll sort that out for you. I also picked all my nail varnish off, even though I painted it only a couple of days ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm very tired. Anyway, I'm probably going to sign off here, even though it's not the end of the night, um, because that's basically my work day done, and... I am probably not going to do an awful lot. Might knit on Mario's sock a bit more. I finished the heel, New Depths heel. I have decreased the stitches and I'm now on to the foot. Um, yeah, 
need to think about a new cast on. I'm thinking another everyday slouch beanie. I've got some grey mohair upstairs and some sort of charcoal grey um, possum yarn that I might knit it out of. Um, yeah, some up nice. It'll be warm if nothing else. Um, but yeah. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I think it's probably going to be a bit shorter than usual, but, you know, whatever, that's fine. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. And to subscribe, I'm currently putting out three vlogs a week, or three videos a week, at least, um, with two of them being vlogs. And every other week, you get a knitting podcast from me. So it would be lovely if you were to subscribe, if you found my personality somewhat palatable no pressure <laughs> um feel free to turn on notifications to be notified every time i post a new video and there was something oh the vloggy check-in we love to see it um feel free to leave me a comment down below let me know what you've got up to what tea you're sipping on um how your whips are going all of that jazz the vloggy check-in you know the drill and if you'd like to follow me on social media, please feel free. Links can all be found in the description box below, along with any other information that I think you might need. And, ooh, some starlings. How lovely. And with all that being said, thank you so, so much for watching. I've truly loved spending the day with you today. You've inspired me to dye more yarn, so thank you. And I will see you very soon in friday's video i was like mm, what day is it today i don't know friday's video i'll see you then bye